not joking. <laughs> This is Severe MMA with Tim Wilde, and we're three and a half weeks out from Bama 22, a huge event out there in Dublin. And you know, you were slated to f face uh, Philip Malpeter, the honey badger out there, but unfortunately, well, really recently, he's had to withdraw. Um, a new opponent in, uh, I think, Luca Jolchuk Jol from uh, SBG Ireland as well. Uh, how do you feel about the change? And, you know, have you known for a little bit longer than perhaps other people, or is this all news to you as well? Uh, no, this is recent news to me as well, in the last few days. Um, initially frustrated, just really because of my personality type. I'm, I'm a bit like, I like a plan and I like things to go in order, and, you know, a bit OCD <laughs> like that. So initially I was really frustrated, but Overall, I'm not concerned really. I'm not too fussed. It, it doesn't matter who they put up from put in front of me. I'm, I fight my fight, and you know, obviously I study fighters, but I, I fight my fight, and you know, I'm going to have to fight all of them anyway. So it, it doesn't matter who they put in front of me. So I am a bit, like I said, disappointed that I'm not going to get to fight more Peter in there. But you know, whatever's gone on with him, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery and yeah. all that. And it is what it is. You know, I'll just move on. I mean, on a on a, on a card full of you know fighter than I contenders that was certainly certainly one of my top choices I mean well Jeez. Peter and you were gonna we're gonna bring it so again I, I hope a speedy recovery but you know you got a guy now who's been training with the SBG guys for a month or so now uh, Luca I keep killing the last name sorry Jolchik uh, you know taking a look at him he's a tall tall lanky lightweight uses his reach well has a few subs and a few TKOs six and two record what do you know about him as a fighter uh, pretty much what you've just said no. I haven't studied him uh, solidly yet he, he look, he's a Croatian lad he, he looks quite tough uh, a bit funky with his style um, a completely different fight to more Peter uh, you know he's six six foot or six foot one really long I think he's a southpaw, although he does like to mix it up, but predominantly southpaw. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's going to be uh, a challenge. It's, I'm, look, I'm fortunate enough that I've still got four weeks to change, switch it up a bit. But like I said in your previous question, I, I fight my style anyway, regardless of who it is. Uh, I just tweak it a little bit to shoot, to suit their body type. Let's talk your style. The end bit. results, regard, uh, you know, it doesn't matter who they are. The end result's going to be the same. The, the, the style John Jitsu. You yeah. know, you talk you tell to talk us a little bit about it. You're watching you guys spar and stuff. But there's obviously something different about the way you move. But t talk us quickly through it. Yeah, um, John Jitsu really, uh, as you know, John Roberts. He, he's put his twist on it. That's what he. Well, that's what we call our style. And and you, uh, you've seen the, the amateur fighters come through to buy us myself. Uh, they call me the experiment because he experimented on me uh, with his style. He didn't know what because he's got he's got years and years and years of martial arts. I, I, I've got you know years of martial arts. Uh, obviously, mostly comes from John, but it, we put it all together and just adapted it to suit me. And yeah, I mean, it, it's not your traditional way of fighting, as you've just seen in sparring, as you've seen in my previous fights. Um, one of the main theories uh, and things that John says is like, why stand there and trade and get hit and get wrist knocked, you know, when you can hit them and not get hit, you know yeah. what I mean? So that really should, everyone should fight like that, that's just common sense, isn't it? The people who stand toe to toe, you know, the Wanderlei Silvers of the world and stuff like that, they do all right and they get, they it's entertaining, but I don't, I, I, I wouldn't think anybody would say that my style's not entertaining, <laughs> so, it, you know, it's just, I don't get, you know, I'm still beautiful, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the second prettiest guy on camera. Well, yeah, you're, you're, debatable. <laughs> You know, you're going out. You're fighting again. We're, we're fighting in Dublin, um, and uh, although not an Irish, uh, not an Irish national now, somebody who's training out of there, you're still going to be entering the cauldron of hate, I think, as uh, it were. Yeah. Are you prepared for the noise? Because uh, I think it's going to be unlike, perhaps, a British. Bama. I mean, no disrespect to British MMA fans, but the Irish make noise. Are you prepared for that? Is that something you have to prepare for as a fighter, or did it not bother you? Uh, I, I, to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, I, well, I, I always get a big following, so and they're quite noisy. My, like, you've probably heard of previous fights, so um, I, yeah, that's uh, something that 
I'm not too concerned about really. I'll just once the once I'm in the cage and uh, the door's shut, I'm, I tend to all I'm I'm thinking about obviously fighting and listening from my corner. And you know, John's quite loud and clear with his instructions, so I, I, it just seems to be like a you know a dull roar if anything yeah. I mean, you've been at some of the Canuck shows I mean it's only a small room and I can't imagine it's probably as loud as uh, is it going to be in Bama <laughs> Island but it's very loud because the 200 people or 300 people that are in there every single one of them yeah. normally knows me so it's a home show you know so it, it is very loud when I come out to fight so but yeah um, no it doesn't faze me I just concentrate on the job at hand you know just crack on with it one more question and we'll let you go because I know you've just finished some squad training yeah, yeah, and you, you need to get out. You know, Luke is looking to uh, spar your run. You know, he, he's looking to derail the experiment. What message have you got for Bama, and Luca, and the Irish fans? Is that going to happen? Uh, no, he's not going to derail me. I think uh, he's, he's trying to jump onto an opportunity of more Peter jumping, uh, dropping out. He seems a confident lad, but I think, you know, when he steps in there with me and he's going to realise he's, he's, he's not... You know, he's not fighting guys he's now in Croatia who have had one and two fights. He's fighting someone who, who, who wants it really bad and wants to go all the way. You know, so he, he's, there's no chance of him stopping my run at all. Uh, and you know, the Irish fans can, but uh, MMA fans all over can just expect uh, to see what they normally see—an exciting fight and me coming in for the win.